Good morning folks, this is Duncan from eTrike.net. Now, uh, I'm doing a couple of things this morning. What I'm trying to do actually is to establish a, uh, a better way of doing these videos to show uh, small products like this. So we're just trying to make these videos a bit more professional. So I'm using this this morning as a bit of a test platform here. I'm using a, uh, a light box, which I use um, for doing macro and extreme macro photography. And I thought, do you know what? This should work. So we've got a, uh, we've got a camera balanced overhead and we're just gonna see what kind of results we get. So what I thought I'd do here is a bit of an unwrapping, an unboxing as they call it, of the KT LCD 8 H uh, color screen. Now, if you guys have been, if anyone's been over to Endless Sphere, the forum Endless Sphere, um, there's a couple of threads over there where guys are uh, getting together and they're 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 producing open source software for the Tongsheng TSDZ2 mid motor, and that's a motor which many of us use in our trikes. And what they seem to be doing across there is developing software which effectively makes the TSDZ2 more similar to the Bosch motors. A lot of people quite like the, the Bosch motors and the way that they deliver uh, the power and the torque. And so there's been a group of guys there who have been working to... Number one, get the TSDZ2 to deliver the torque and the power in a similar way to the Bosch motor, but also to improve the uh, the kind of parameters which you are, are available to you as a visual aid in the screen. So there's more stuff basically which comes onto the screen which you can see, uh, look at, diagnose, etc. So. The KT LCD 8H, at the moment, I am not 100% sure whether they have completely developed the software to use this screen, because this is the colour screen. And the standard screen they're using is a KT LCD 3, uh, LCD 3 which is a black and white screen. Now, I know that they've developed the software for that one. Um, I was told that this one was also possible to use, but uh, getting information over there is not all that easy, to be honest with you. It's a little bit like getting blood out of a stone. Um, so I'm still waiting for a confirmation on that. But in the meantime, I bought one of these in, knowing that eventually that, that software would be available and uh, the colour screen would be something which I could test and use on my trike. So let's just give this a bit of an unboxing um, and we'll see. I actually have not yet open this at all so I've got no idea exactly what is in here it's arrived recently let's just pull everything that we've got out of the box and we can pop the box over there we've got a set of instructions here as well look and let's see what we've got in the pack what we've got in these pockets you think so we've got a fairly good size cable here on the back, held together with a zip tie. There it is. Looks like we've got a decent length of cable there. I'd say that's probably a metre and a half of cable, which is about what we're going to need. We have here a small button controller. Similar to what you would have on the standard screen on the, uh, the Tongsheng there, with obviously it's the uh, toggle up. And down through the through the modes and you've got a power button on and off right there in the center and then here we've got the, the screen itself quality of screen looks decent probably looks better than the, uh, the standard screen that comes along with the the TSDZ actually it's quite nice and it's uh, this looks it's also a lot thinner this one so it's quite a slim profile to that thing. Looks good. Uh, we have got that kind of connector. Now the TS uh, the TSDZ2 screen does use those um, connectors, so I would hope that that would connect him correctly however I know that there are some bits some cables which are going to be required in order to get this uh, to work with the TSDZ2 I think there might be a company in the States which is making some of those cables which are available 
Um, again, difficult to get information. I contacted the company uh, some time ago and uh, spoke to the guy actually on the phone even and he did promise to send me some more details which he hasn't done so far that's about a week ago so i'll get back on to him and uh, see if we can get some more details but that just gives you an idea of what that screen looks like right over there and then in this bag here let's have a look what we've got in here this looks like it's going to be some mounting brackets if I can get into them. Of course, whenever you're going to do a video like this, everything works against you. It's not going to let you in. Open your swine. Right, so let's those out. So that's what comes with it. So you've got that. Uh, mounting bracket that would work obviously well with the uh, uh, ice accessory bars ice accessory mounts or indeed as we've talked about on the forum we've talked about on etrike.net that will also work nicely with the straight bar ends which you can buy now those straight bar ends are going to save you a lot of money over the ice accessory mount ice accessory mount about 38 pounds straight bar ends about five pounds and do pretty much the same thing so those that bracket there would work then comes with four of these which uh, will just allow you to mount it on smaller ones by the way I've tried these ones here before and they work well if you've got mirrors you know the the standard kind of ice kind of mirrors I think most of the mirrors have got a similar diameter to the bar that comes out from them these work well on there so you could actually mount them uh, straight onto onto that and then there's a little screw here a couple of those little screws look so there we go, that's what you get. You've got then a set of instructions, um, which are just gonna tell us what each bit does, what the display looks like. Try and get a bit closer there. And the various functions on there. Let's have a look. There's an in part, side part as well. You can see that a bit of information there. These are quite complex little units. They, they do provide quite a lot of information. And at this point, I've got no idea exactly how this um, particular display fits exactly with a TSDZ two but it is something which i intend to find out because i would like to use that open source software i will do another little unboxing in a few minutes to show you the kt lcd3 which is a standard screen which the open source software is designed to use in a second but that's the color version and um, i will let you know on the blog when i find out definitively if the we can actually use this screen now or if it's something which is going to be in development um, for a little bit sometime in the future. All right, that's Duncan from eTrike.net. Do subscribe, subscribe to our videos. Uh, we're trying to make these videos better and better each day, each time we post one. Um, come and uh, join us on the Facebook forum. We've got the Facebook forum, which is eTrike. Search that one, uh, Facebook groups on uh, Facebook and you'll find us. We've got over 300 members now and some real experts um, in the field of recumbent electrified trikes. And uh, also come and uh, subscribe to the blog, etrike.net. You can press subscription button on the right side there, pop your email address in, and you'll get all the latest articles that we post on there. All right, looking forward to seeing you around the forums and uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.